Today we will show you the fundamental security guidelines that will protect you, your system and your information from external threats. All of the information we will provide is based on practical methodologies that have been used successfully. These methodologies will help prevent a computer system from being attacked and ravaged by malicious users. Here are 9 ways to protect you against hacker or attacker. First is, update your operating system. Operating systems are open to different types of attacks. On a daily basis, new viruses are released. This alone should make you cautious because your operating system might be vulnerable to a new set of threats. This is why the vendors of these operating systems release new updates on a regular basis, so that they can stay ahead of new threats. The best way to protect yourself from new threats is to update your operating system on a weekly or monthly basis. This will help you improve your security and reduce the risk of your system becoming a host to viruses. The second is, update your software. Updated software is equipped with more efficiency and convenience, and even has better built-in security features. Thus, it is imperative that you frequently update your applications, browsers and other programs. The third is antivirus. Based on our research, we have seen that some operating systems are open to a lot of attacks, especially Microsoft or Windows platforms. One way you can protect your system from viruses is through an antivirus program. An antivirus program can save you in many ways. There are many antivirus programs free or paid that you can install on your system to protect against threats. A malicious hacker can plant a virus on your system through the internet, but with a good antivirus scan, you can see the threat and eliminate it. As with any other software or program, your antivirus software needs frequent updates to be 100% effective. The fourth is anti-spyware. This program is also important. Anti-spyware is a type of software that is designed to detect and remove unwanted spyware programs. Spyware is a type of malware that is installed on a computer without the user's knowledge in order to collect information about them. As you don't want Trojan programs on your system, you can get many anti-spyware programs on the internet. Just make sure you go for one that has received good ratings. The fifth is, avoid shady sites. When you are browsing Facebook, you may come across unknown people who send you messages with links, some in the form of clickbait. Avoid clicking on such links. Also, you must avoid porn sites or sites that promise you things that are too good to be true. Some of these sites promise you free music when you click on a link, while others offer free money or a movie. These sites are run by malicious hackers who are looking for ways to harm your computer with their malware links. Take note that on some malicious sites, you don't even have to click on anything to be hacked. A good browser will always inform you of a bad site before it takes you there. Always listen to your browser's warnings and head back to safety if necessary. The sixth is Firewall. If you are a computer specialist working in an organization, you might come across cases in which more than one computer system's operating system is under one network. In situations like these, you must install software that provides a security firewall. A firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. A firewall typically establishes a barrier between a trusted network and an untrusted network, such as the Internet. The Windows operating system has an inbuilt firewall that you can activate and use directly. This firewall feature comes in different versions of Windows, including Windows XP, Windows Professional, Windows 10 and the other versions. The seventh is Spam. You can be hacked from spamming too. Email providers have taken the initiative to classify emails according to a set of parameters. Some emails will be sent directly into the inbox and some will be sent to the spam folder. To be safe, avoid opening emails that look suspicious. Some of them will have attachments that you should not open. Regardless of the security measures taken by email providers, some spam emails will still pass their filters and come straight into your inbox. Avoid opening such emails and do not download the attachments that come with them. The eighth is Backup Options. This is my favorite preventing hackers. Whether you are running your own business or working for an organization as an ethical hacker, it is crucial that you back up your work. 
Some files will contain confidential information, such as personal files, financial data, and work-related documents you cannot afford to lose. You should register with Google Drive, OneDrive, and other cloud drive companies so that you can upload your files as a form of backup. You can also purchase an external hard disk and transfer all of your important files to it. Take all these security measures because a single malicious software can scramble your data regardless of the antivirus you have installed. You can't reverse some actions once they've been taken, so always have a backup. The ninth or last is Password This is the most important aspect of security. The importance of a strong password can never be overstated. Starting from your email, your documents or even a secure server, a good password is the first and last line of defense against external threats. There are two categories of passwords, weak and strong. A weak password is made by using your mobile phone number, your name, a family member's name or something that can be guessed easily. Avoid using this kind of password, as even an amateur hacker can guess it. Furthermore, avoid writing down your passwords. Your password isn't a file that needs backup, it must be personal to you. Make sure you use a simple password that is very strong. However, keep in mind that a strong password still doesn't make you completely safe. This video resource is from Hacking with Kali Linux, the practical beginner's guide to learn how to hack with Kali Linux. Thanks for watching this article so far. If you like these videos then please share them with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. If you have any questions or feedback then please drop a comment. And which is best for you, drop on the comment. Thank you for subscribing.